we have an integer array nums and an integer k. Just two things. I have to return true or false if my array nums which is given to me is or has a good sub array or not. So what I what do I mean by a good sub array? A good sub array is something where its length is at least two, which means in the sub array I should have two or more elements. Okay. The second part is the sum of the elements of the sub array is a multiple of k. So first thing we realize, okay, the array length should be two or more elements, which means it should be greater than or equal to two. Second thing is that the sum of the elements of the sub array is a multiple of k. See, I put circles on every major saying of the problem. So I'm taking, okay, I'm taking a sub array. I have to make sure the sub array sum mod k should be equal to zero. Then only it can be a multiple of k, the sub array sum. If that is the case, how can I find the sub array sum in as less time as possible? I can find range sums when there is no update. I can find it as fast as possible by using a prefix sum technique. If you don't know this, go and watch the above video. Now, coming on back, if we know we can apply prefix sums, we can easily find the range sum. If we can find the range sum, we can find the sub array sum. We can find the sub array sum. We can also find the sub array sum mod k. So, just do one thing. Whatsoever prefix sum you have got, just keep on doing the mod k also on that prefix sums. And then whatsoever you will get, that will represent, okay? From very beginning, up till that point, what is the prefix sum? Mod k value. And thus, we have seen that if I take this portion as a consideration, if I take this, okay, if let's say I remove this and if I want to know the sub array sum in this range, if I know, if I want to know the sub array sum in this highlighted range and I know that the, the very beginning starting is zero here and I have, let's say PA prefix sum up till this point. I have PB prefix sum up till this point. Now, if I know that this, this portion, this portion, whatsoever range it is, whatsoever range value it is, if I can easily know one thing that PB minus PA, again, this PB is a prefix sum, minus PA is again a prefix sum which I have maintained. This PA is up to this point and PB is this thing. I know this is R and I want to make sure I am doing a range sum mod K. So I'll do a R mod K. So I should do a mod K on the left side also. I'll do a mod K on the right side. PB minus PA mod K. I know that if range is divisible by K, so this value would turn out to be zero, which means I should make sure that PB mod K minus PA mod K should be equal to zero. I can easily infer that PB mod K is equals to PA mod K in that case, in that case, if the PA mod K and PB mod K, if this is zero, I can easily, sorry, if this is same, if this is same, I can say that this range sum, this range sum is actually divisible by K. That's the simple thing. And again, this exact same thing we have been repeating in nearly all the continuous sub array, continuous array approaches. So it's very important approach. So let's see, let's simple, let's see, have a dry run. Firstly, we'll take the nums. We will take the prefix sum of our nums because that's what will help us. And we know the prefix sum by default starts from zero. Okay, zero plus 23, 23. 23 plus two, 25. 25 plus four, 29. 29 plus six, 35. 35 plus seven, 42. Now, we also know that we also have to maintain a prefix sum mod k. That's what we require. We have, we have to maintain prefix sum mod k, mod k. So, okay, let's do prefix sum, prefix sum mod k. For me, the k was 6. This is the same first example which we have taken. Prefix sum mod k. If we will take mod k, okay, 0 mod 6, 0. 30, sorry, 23 mod 6, 5. 25 mod 6, 1. 29 mod 6, 5. 35 mod 6, 5. 42 mod 6, 0. Now, when I have got this, I know that whenever these mod k's are same, I know that sub array will have the resultant range sum mod k as also zero. 
so now my task is when i have got these values find me find me who are same whose prefix and mod value are same as i can easily see that is zero and zero it is same so if i erase this if this if i let's say erase this also prefix sum so i realize okay zero and zero is same if that is same which means zero is this one and zero was in the very beginning here so i can easily say from this point up till this point if i take the range sum my answer or if i take the range sum i will be good to say that it's range sum mod k will be zero or it's a multiple of my k okay another one can you you can easily see that five is here five is here okay five is here five is here if i take the range sum of this portion i can easily say four plus two six mod six is zero okay so you see that i am just taking same values of mod k i, I can also also see five and five is also same okay you take this one five and you take up till this point this is again if you're confused i didn't why it is before it is a prefix some standard thing that we take prefix sum and up to that point i just have to make sure this is actually the range sum which is containing that value again if you're confused on how the prefix sum works go and watch that video now coming on back uh we know that this sum is 12 which is also divisible by 6 okay again if you see that this r and this is also same yeah this is also same for me this is also a 6 which is also divisible by 6 so i have all these possible options do i want to take all these possible options no i don't want i just want one thing that whatsoever option i have the length should be greater than equal to 2 right so i know how i will get the length i will get the length by simply saying that bro for every specific number for 5 give me the first occurrence when it was occurred first time 5 occurred first time at 1 now whenever my 5 is occurring next my 5 is occurring at 3 my 5 is occurring at 4 whenever my 5 is occurring next i will just make sure okay 3 minus 1 4 minus 3 so i will just try to take first occurrence and last occurrence of same number if that if 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 the corresponding indexes difference is more than equal to 2 i will simply say the length is actually more than equal to 2 so if i take 4 minus 1 will give me 3 and i can easily see length is 3 so that and i want to just maximize my length although i don't need to maximize my length but i more of i more or less need maximum length so that okay maximum length should be greater than equal to 2 i am good to go so for me i have to find the length i find the length by saying last occurrence of that specific number the first occurrence of that specific number will give me the length of the largest subarray with that specific number five and thus this its, its length should be more than equal to and that's what my prime task is and if you remember the same problem was you have to just maximize the length in this you have to maximize the length in this you want any such length or pair such that the length is more than equal to that's it now let's see the quote it's pretty same exactly same it's just that you will see i made my prefix some array i then did i didn't i didn't i then did a mod and then i maintained for this the first occurrence for a five its first index is one and then i kept on okay whenever the five came again okay current index is three the first occurrence i will get from my map so i realized technically i would need prefix sum prefix sum mod k again doing a prefix sum mod k and then i need a map also hash map which will sim simply say the first occurrence if i i simply say first occurrence of five is actually one. First occurrence of zero is zero first occurrence of one is two of one is two next time when five will come in i will not update the first occurrence of five two three now this number will only be updated only once whenever the number is occurring for the first time any consecutive occurrences of any number i will just simply say bro i know the current index is three i will go and check back the first occurrence in my actual hash map it was one three minus one it is two if this length is more than equal to i am good to say i have a length of at least two and i am good to return the answer as true cool so i will maintain the prefix sum i will not maintain the vector i will just maintain the prefix sum 
I will also do a mod key parallelly. I'll also maintain this prefix of mod key and then I will maintain a hash map for the first occurrence. Let's come, up, come back to the code. So we will maintain the first occurrence. We will say, okay, first occurrence of zero, zero as a prefix sum or zero as a zero mod k. It will be zero only. It is zero. So I just made sure my prefix sum is actually zero based indexing, zero based indexing. So the first number is actually starting from one, index one. Okay, then I went on to all the numbers. I maintained the new prefix sum. I got the new prefix sum by taking the existing prefix sum plus the current element will give me the new prefix sum. When I have this new prefix sum, I will simply check that do like does this prefix sum mod key again. This is mod key value. Is it existing in my hash map or not? If it is not existing in my hash map, just assign it with the current index. Right, it's a first occurrence. It represents the first occurrence. If it is existingly there in my hash map, then try to find the length. Length is current index minus the first occurrences of that specific prefix sum only. If this is more than equal to, simply re return true from here only. If not, then return false from here. Thus, you see the time we have used here is simply trading on all the elements. So the time is O of n space. Here will be also O of n because of the hash map we have used. Now, people must say, okay, I didn't want brute force stuff, bro. Brute force is very simple for this. You just simply go on and try for all the possible sub arrays, take a sub array sum, O of n cube in the very beginning, then O of n square, just to optimize the sub array sum. So, all that we have already seen hundreds of times if you have been watching us. If not, then you just go and watch this one video, you'll get the answer. Full. I hope you got it. It's a very famous, okay. Meta loves perfect sums, so yeah, it's for you. Bye-bye, take care.